Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigirata Case. This is our Angular 14 series. Part of this video, I am going to explain how to pass this authorization header in Angular services. Basically, we can achieve this from Schuld in these two ways. The first one is individual way. That means we are passing this authorization header for each and every request in these services. And the second one is global way. That means we are going to implement on HTTP interceptor. Using this interceptor, we can pass our authorization header. Okay, now let me start our implementation. Already I have the created application. Here I am going to use this app component and also the services master.services. Here let me create one function first. Using this function, I am going to get all the employee records. Also, let me inject our HTTP client. Okay, we are good to go. Now, this dot HTTP and our method type is get method only. Here, I suppose to pass our API URL. So, already I am having one .NET Core services. So, let me explain this one. So this is the employee services. So it's returning 401 because the service is secured one. So let me copy this URL. Okay, this is done. And the next step is we have to pass our authorization header. Before that, let me test our services in Postman. The same service. Here also we are getting this 401 error. So let me pass this authorization header here. Okay. We already have one method for generating this JWT token. So let me generate our token first. Okay, great. The token is generated. So let me copy this one. And our token type is Bearia token space, then our token. Now let me request one second. See now, I am getting this response is 200 and also I am getting this list of employee record. The same functionality only we are going to apply in our Angular application. So let me go to the application now. Here I am going to declare one object. HTTP options. If you noted in this get method, you can see like the first input is URL, that's what we have passed, and the second one is options, the HTTP option. So using this option only, we are going to pass our authorization header. First, let me define our authorization header, then we can pass here, okay? Dot set, okay? Here I am going to use the key is authorization and the value is bearer because our token type is bearer only. So after that we have to pass our token. So basically when we are logged in that time only we will get our token. For this example, I am going to use the direct token so that we can get from our Swagger itself. So it's having 20 minutes expiration time. So no issue, we can use the same token. So let me pass it here. Now I'm going to use this header option. I just to pass this parameter that's it okay great our service side we have done now let me go to the component side so in this component I am going to create one table so in this table we can bind this same information Okay, the column names are code, name, 
and also I'm going to use the salary if you have any other field also we can include so this is the just learning purpose so I think we have this email and phone number we don't have this salary so let me change this one into email okay that's fine so in the body I'm going to use this TR tag now let me go to the TS file side so in the TS file side we have this constructor and master service is already injected now let me define one object first then in this constructor side I'm going to consume our services get employee so it's returning wide so let me go back to our services okay let me return it okay fine now see it's returning this observable data so I'm going to subscribe it Okay, now we have the data in our M data object. I'm going to bind in this table. Okay, the first field is code. Item dot code. The similar way. The second one is name. And the final one is email. And this table, I'm going to provide the class table and table border these are the bootstrap class see now all the data are loaded here the code name email okay so in case if I'm not passed this token here it will never happen so let me remove this one now see none of the data are loaded if you go to the console side you can see this 401 another HD error okay see we are getting this 401 error so let me revert the changes now it's fine it's loaded the data okay great now we have completed our first type and now let me move on to the second type how to pass this authorization header using this HTTP interceptor so the HTTP interceptor also the kind of service only so let me create it ng generate service okay create the service is created here I'm going to implement the HTTP interceptor using this quick fix option okay the intercept method is added now let me remove this exception throw so instead of that I'm going to return the our request okay so our main intention is we how to pass our authorization header okay for that let me define one object token header so this request that clone off and here I'm going to use the set headers option and our token type is authorization token
and the token type is bearer and one space finally the token is required so we already have the token now let me use this same token okay this is fine so here after I am going to return this token header and this is the first step we have initiated our HTTP header now let me use this HTTP interceptor in our application for that in this app model we have this providers option here I am going to use this provide HTTP interceptor and use class this use class is nothing but our created service name only token interceptor services finally we are going to use this services for the multiple places so the multi also true okay we have done so let me verify it how it's going to work now let me go to the master services so in this master services I am going to create one more function get customer okay return this dot HTTP get and our URL let me go to the swagger this swagger we have this customer okay here also I'm getting this 401 error because this one also yeah secured services let me add here and in this component side what I'm going to do let me copy the whole table and this is for our customer okay and let me verify what are the fields we are having ID name email so instead of this code I am going to change into ID so instead of this M data I am going to use customer data now let me go to our TS side We can follow the same steps. First, initiated our object. So after that, we can consume our customer services. Get customer. So this dot customer data equal to the response. Okay. See now our customer data is loaded. At the same time, our employee data also loaded. If you noted here in this imply method we are passing this token but in this customer we not passed the token but it's working why because we have implemented our HTTP interceptor it will work for all the services in case if I'm removing here also okay even this imply method also I just removed so let me command it it will work because we are passing our authorization header through our HTTP interceptor so let me uncomment it so this is all about our video still if you have any doubts or clarifications please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel and the source code I will share this github link in this description you can use it and if it's possible, you have to join our membership. Thank you. Thanks for watching.